call up the add menu, go to meter balls and choose one of those primitives. Have you ever heard about meter balls? They haven't their own mass geometry nor are primitives for modeling, no. They exist procedurally. Every transform changes their surface and they have a clay-like form that have a rounded shape. Furthermore, when two meter objects get close to one another, they begin to interact and blend or merge their shape. When they move away from one another, they restore their original shape. If you want to add a so called meter ball, then you have to call up the add menu, meter balls and select one of those basic shapes here. You have five primitive shapes like a ball, a capsule, a plane, an ellipsoid and a cube. You see immediately that they are all that kind of round, even though they plane. When you create a new meter ball object, and then there is nothing special to adjust in the add meter ball panel here. Basically you are able to change the meter ball shape or adjust size. It is not possible to switch to edit mode and adjust particular faces because as I mentioned before, it is a procedural generated object. However, it is possible to translate your object by moving it, rotating it and scaling it. Useful for resolution or size is the object data property panel. Here you are able to adjust the resolution for the viewport or the threshold. Consider that you adjust the resolution for all meter ball objects in the scene. I will come back to this panel a little bit later. But now let's the magic start. Add another meter ball object and see how those two objects union to one another. The more objects you create, the more you influence the volume. With Shift D you duplicate your selected meter ball object. When you look closely at the mesh surface, you recognize that the surface is moving while translating it. Activating the geometry wireframe let you see how the generated surface is recalculating while it's translation. If you deselect your current selected meter ball and want to select it again, then you will only translate your very first meter ball object. As you can see in the outliner, your first meetable object is some kind of a master object of a branch and all further added objects are parented to it. If you want to adjust a specific meetable object again, then just click on the circle around the object or select it in the outliner. Each added object interacts with each other and lets you build up volume or shape very fast. Currently we add further volume. But it is as well possible to subtract volume with a meter ball object by selecting the wanted object which should be subtracted to the other objects, switch to edit mode, open the active element category in the object data property shelf and enable negative. Well, we are able to add or subtract volume to a meter ball cluster. Every further added object will interact with our current cluster, but probably you don't want that and you want to start another meter ball cluster. This is actually possible by just renaming your wanted object in the outliner. Be sure that there are no numbers in your chosen name, otherwise it will not work. Every new added meter ball object will still be part of the first cluster. So I would advise you to select your second cluster and just duplicate its shape to continue. Care that you not rename the master object of a branch. If you do, then the rest will disappear because they are parented by its name. It is not a problem if this happened by accident, because you are able to fix it by just renaming it again. 
So probably it is fine if you just rename an object which is child of the cluster and start your next cluster. Now I want to show you some use cases for meter balls. It is actually very nice for quickly shape volume. For example, use a concept as reference and quickly sculpt shape with use of meter balls. Meter ball parts welding together automatically. It is similar to the Union Boolean modifier and you don't have to care about your open mesh geometry. As I mentioned it before, it is possible to create stylistic characters with meter balls, but you are able to add bones and create a rig for your meter ball cluster. I will not dive into this topic now. And meter balls can be used some kind for a fluid particle system. Just create one as the reference object and the plane as the emitter. Create a new particle function and do some adjustments. Under render, change render as halo to object. And the instance object should be the meter ball object. I really like what you can generate with this possibility. Actually, the procedurally generated meshes have a horrible mesh geometry if you want to use the meter ball cluster for modeling. To convert your volume to a mesh, just go to Mesh, Convert to Mesh from Curve, Meter, Surf, Text. Now it is time to tidy up your mesh geometry or use the remesh modifier, but this is as well not a good solution. Meter balls are nice to shape volume, but you have to be very careful with human shapes or sensitive geometry. You are definitely able to generate awesome content with meter balls, but consider where you want to use this and the mesh structure in the end, if you convert it to a mesh. I wished I had found this function a little bit earlier, because I created a huge stylistic treetop for our game Cortex. With meter balls it would be so much easier to create this shape. It was really a pain in the ass to yin in all those deformed spheres. For me, who has less knowledge about particles, shaders and sculpting, this can be a very huge possibility for 3D sketching. And maybe there is nothing wrong to use this as a reference for a retopology or use it as a base mesh for sculpting. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!